ओके बिस्मिल्लाम ओके लास्ट इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव टॉक्ट अबाउट द फंक्शंस व्हिच कैन गेट मैक्सिमम वैल्यू एंड मिनिमम वैल्यू नाउ इन दैट केस इफ ए फंक्शन इज गिवन टू यू any function y is equal to fx is equal to maybe x cube plus 4x plus 7 and you want to see ke where what are the value of x where function is maximum and where function is minimum then we have to first differentiate that function now if we differentiate that function first and then put equal to 0 and factorize it now it may be that it is a quadratic function giving you two values maybe cubic function giving you three values four values so what will you do then you will again differentiate the first derivative that is you will find the second derivative and then put one of the point which you have found in the first step that is let's say x is equal to 2 and see what you get now if the value is positive if the value of the function is positive at that point then function is minimum but if value of the function is negative at that point then function is maximum okay so that is the criteria of a of a function to test whether it has max it is maximum at a given point or it is minimum at that point again i am going to repeat ke you first differentiate it find the roots of the equation and put that roots back in the second derivative of the expression and if your answer is greater than 0 then function is minimum if it is less than 0 that is negative then it is maximum that is the criterion of that now calculus of variation you know in physics we usually come across with surfaces and surfaces may be of different shape and if you try one surface and you want to find a minimum distance between two points for example uh look at this small cylinder which i am drawing here it is a cylinder okay so it is a curved surface now if this one point a and this second point b and you want to move from here to there there then there is one is this one which will be a straight will be a curved line it will be an arc because it is a curved surface then you can move from this path from this path so there are many ways to reach point a to b on a curved surface but at there will be at least one path where the distance will be minimum between two points distance will be minimum between two points an example is suppose i ask you that from the gate outside go to bagh naran and you can go just through through the road through the road outside that and you can go through that but you have to find what is the minimum distance between the two points and this is what is our job the distance the minimum distance between two point on a given curved surface is known as geodesic of the surface geodesic geo desic of the surface Okay, that is the word which is used, and it is what it says: the minimum distance between two points on a given surface out of many points, out of 
many points then that is known as geodesic of the surface now in order to find geodesic calculus of variation is one of the method to find the minimum distance that is to find geodesic calculus of variation it provides you one of the method it is one of the method which i am going to describe now you know the arc length ds is always given by this expression now see here again this is x this is y and i move from here to there that is arc that is arc what i do i take a small portion here this is delta x this is delta y if somebody says how much is this arc i say ds1 is delta x square plus delta y square similarly you can find next arc length and then next arc length and next arc length and so on so forth and then you add all of them that is you integrate them and you get ds and that will be integration of this quantity which is there and this is this will give you the total arc length from point a to b and this is represented as an integral this is very important expression remember it and now we are going to proceed from here now this dx square plus dy square can you take dx common so it will go in denominator because there is a square on this there is a square on this so square of the both which is written as dx 1 plus d or uh, a uh, uh, y dash whole square so your integral is i is equal to x1 to x2 1 plus y dash square dx which can be generalized i is equal to x1 to x2 some functional relationship between x between y and between y dash and you have to solve it it is just a general expression which may vary from case to case and this may be if you find this integral then this integral may be minimum maximum or stationary now if it is stationary so it mean that the things are not changing and okay and i'll explain it in a moment ki how it works now look in this example suppose we have a wire and there is a bead on that ye aap log tasbeeh karte hain tasbeeh to uske upar dana jo hai agar ek hi dana hai aur baki jo hai tar hai to this is a bead on a wire i am talking about a bead on a wire ki ek wire hai uske upar ek circular cheez hai jo move kar rahi hai okay you got it okay so what we are going to consider ki we have a wire and there is a bead on it and we want to slide the bead on the wire from one point to another on in a shortest possible time now look you have a wire maybe it is a straight wire and you say ke i leave bead here it move down there so it will take certain time then you say ke i am going to make this wire curved and again you allow this to move from the same point and reach the final point and you can have many combination of that but we are looking for that point for which it takes minimum point a uh, minimum time to reach from one point to another one so that is the problem and i am going to discuss that ab dekhen ke the velocity of the bead is given by 
distance over time. It is just simple. Your velocity equation, the rate of change of distance with time. And from there I have calculated dt is equal to, this is the velocity of the wind on the wire given by that take dt here v there it is dt is equal to 1 over v dx take this as remain as it is and ds is as this dx square plus dy square and then it is integral of that t1 to t2 because we are going to find the total time to reach from one point to another one on the wire so it takes t1 to t2 dt integral will be total time x1 to x2 that is position x1 to position x2 and this quantity and now look how this quantity is different from that there is a factor of 1 over v there okay so it depends upon various problem you will see okay, by this is but this thing will be there this thing will be there okay because we have to minimize it and we have to do something with this so that this whole thing is minimized it gives you minimum value so your i is equal to x1 to x2 1 plus y dash square dx as small as possible this should be as small as possible now i have just given you the example of that bead okay what we have to find now we are going to develop a procedure a general procedure by calculus of variation okay, by how these things are done you see in this figure this is x-axis and this is y-axis there is a one point x1 y1 there is final point x2 y2 you can reach x2 y2 through this line or through this one or through this one or through any one okay so let we consider a function eta x be a function of x which is zero at point x1 and x2 okay so be careful it is only zero at here and here eta x is zero at here eta x is zero but not in between eta x is not zero in between so x1 and x2 which is zero at x1 x2 and has continuous second derivative but this derivative should be should be should exist because derivative existing karega to ye phir zero ho jayega we don't want it and in the interval from x1 to x2 and this is arbitrary this is up to you aap isko agar zero nahi bhi karte you can take any constant value but you won't include that okay so this is arbitrary we construct another function yx एक तो हमने ये कंसिडर किया कि ईटा एक्स कंसिडर करो उसके ऊपर कुछ कंडीशन लगा दी है एंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू कंस्ट्रक्ट एनदर फंक्शन कैपिटल वाई एक्स इसको नजर आ रहा है वो चीज वो चीज नजर आ रही है आ गई ओके नाउ वी कंस्ट्रक्ट another function y x such that y x is equal to this small y x which appears here and this is our desired function where i is minimum and alpha is a small parameter dekhe ye to humne define kar diya ये हमने अब डिफाइन कर रहे हैं इन इक्वेशन वन एंड दैट इज द डिजायर्ड फंक्शन के दैट इज द डिजायर्ड फंक्शन इन एवरी एक्सप्रेशन के डिजायर का मतलब है कि विच वी वांट टू हैव डिजायर्ड फंक्शन मीन्स व्हाट वी हैव वांट टू हैव अब देखिए इट इज ऑब्वियस 
from the name of calculus of variation ke you make variations in something you are making some changes in the function okay and then you get the minimum value of the integral and the function in which you are going to make changes is small y x so this is our desired function ke bhai we want to actually find y x so that it makes i minimum it makes i minimum and this is the whole uh, central point of this whole dis discussion okay now alpha is a parameter which is alpha is just constant i is equal to x1 to x2 ye phir maine likh diya hai wahi equation likhi hui hai i is equal to that note that delta y is yx minus yx is equal to alpha eta x take this to this side so this is one function this is another function y x minus small y x will be equal to alpha eta x ye to theek ho gayi isko hum delta y consider kar rahe hain ki change in y change in change in y and this change in y we are going to find variation in y variation ki how very change is look this is represented by y x but this y x will be different from this one this is y x but this is different from this one so all these things are represented by this capital y x okay ye y x hai aur phir aap jo hai ye dusra jo hai desire hai ye maloom karke aap apne us point par fix karenge okay now our problem is to make i alpha to take its minimum value this is i alpha because if you substitute everything then alpha is there ab how it takes its minimum value in the last lecture i have told ke first you have to differentiate the function so i'll differentiating it putting it equal to zero and when alpha is zero we'll see ke how many roots are there so what we are going to do differentiate equation 2 differentiate equation 2 with respect to alpha isko kya kare with respect to alpha differentiate kare di over d alpha x1 to x2 dekhe iska derivative 1 over 2 bahar aa jayega minus 1 over 2 niche chala gaya derivative of this is 2y dash and then because you are differentiating with respect to alpha derivative of this with respect to alpha dx have you got it aapko samajh aa gayi hai maine kya kaha ki i am differentiating this equation with respect to alpha and if i do it x1 to x2 1 over 2 derivative of this is 1 over 2 1 plus y dash square raised to the power 1 minus 1 over 2. वन माइनस वन ओवर टू तो ये हो जाएगा क्या हो जाएगा माइनस वन ओवर टू नीचे चला जाएगा एंड टू वाई डैश इट मीन दैट डेरिवेटिव ऑफ दिस एज वेल एंड देन डेरिवेटिव ऑफ दिस विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एल्फा डी एक्स एंड दैट इज इक्वेशन नंबर फोर अच्छा अब इसको मिठाना अभी नहीं मैं इधर ही काम करता हूँ ठीक है ये इक्वेशन वन याद रहेगी आपको टू भी याद रहेगी so where were we we are at equation number 4 differentiate differentiate equation 1 ye jo maine idhar bhi mithai hai with respect to x you have we get y dash x 
इज इक्वल टू वाई डैश एक्स प्लस एल्फा ईटा डैश एक्स यही आएगा कि नहीं आएगा उसको अगर करें तो देखो यहां से तुम्हें आप यस नजर आ रहा है ओके एंड दिस इज इक्वेशन नंबर वट फाइव एंड एंड डी वाई डैश दिस कैपिटल y dash over dx d alpha is equal to eta dash x this is 6 ye ab equation kahan se aayi ye to maine kar diya what i am saying ke now differentiate it with respect to alpha isko with respect to alpha kiya to ye aa gaya idhar se alpha khatam ho gaya theek hai kyunki is with respect to this will remain it is ye kidhar gaya kyunki it is at alpha is equal to 0 kyun ये मैंने इधर किधर लिखा था उसमें हाँ ये कि एक इट्स मिनिमम वैल्यू डी आई ओवर डी एल फाइज इक्वल टू जीरो वैन एल फाइज इक्वल टू जीरो ये जो है ना हमने देखा था ना उस दिन आप नहीं थे वो था कि इन आर्डर टू फाइंड द मैक्सिमा और मिनिमा ऑफ द फंक्शन यू फर्स्ट डिफ्रेंशिएट द फंक्शन देन यू पुट इक्वल टू जीरो This what we have done. D i over d alpha is equal to zero, or we are saying that when alpha is equal, to, alpha should be very small. So that is what we have done here. So this is y dash d y dash over d alpha zeta x, and that is zero because near alpha is equal to zero. Now alpha is equal to zero mean. Look, alpha is equal to zero mean. कि क्या हो जाएगा कैपिटल वाई एक्स विल बी इक्वल टू स्मॉल वाई एक्स ओके वेन यू पुट एल्फा इज इक्वल टू जीरो लुक देयर देन कैपिटल वाई एक्स इज जस्ट वाई एक्स हमारे पास ऑलरेडी है हमें उसकी कोई जरूरत नहीं पड़ती ठीक है सो द नेक्स्ट थिंग इज दिस इज इक्वेशन नंबर सिक्स सब्सिट्यूट इक्वेशन सिक्स इन फोर Along with थ्री सिक्स को फोर में हमने सबसे चूट करना है एलॉन्ग विथ थ्री और थ्री को भी एंड वी गेट डी आई ओवर डी एल्फा ये तो ये सिक्स है एट एल्फा इज इक्वल टू जीरो अभी हमने किया है इधर इज इक्वल टू एक्स वन टू एक्स टू ईटा डैश एक्स वाई डैश एक्स डिवाइडेड बाई वन प्लस वाई डैश स्केयर स्केयर रूट डी एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो दिस इज सेवन अल्लाह अच्छा जी देखो ये फोर इक्वेशन जो है मैंने क्या कहा कि सब्सिट्यूट इक्वेशन सिक्स इन फोर देखो ये तो कैंसिल हो गया इस टू के साथ राइट ये वाई डैश इधर रह गया है ये वाई डैश इधर रह गया है ये चीज भी इधर रह गई है और क्या किया डी वाई डैश ओवर डी एल्फा की जगह मैंने अल्फा डैश एक्स पुट कर दिया समझ आ गया आपको मैं फिर एक्सप्लेन करता हूं मैंने कहा पुट इक्वेशन सिक्स इन फोर एलॉन्ग विद थ्री सिक्स को फोर में सब्सिट्यूट करना है तो पहले तो आपने क्या किया है कि डी वाई ओवर डी एक्स डी एल्फा को ईटा एक्स लिख दिया और बाकी चीजें वही हैं ठीक है ना बाकी चीजें 
वही हैं आ रही हैं उसमें आप देख लें सारी थ्री किधर है थ्री मैंने मिटा दी हुई है ओके देख थ्री ये है हाँ एट एल फाइव इक्वल टू जीरो डी आई और डी एल फाइव फाइव इक्वल टू जीरो ओके वी आर वेरी नियर टू द रिजल्ट ये प्रोसीजर डिवेलप हो जाए ना तो बाकी एग्जाम्पल बड़ी आसान है डोंट वरी अबाउट दैट ओके मैं तो मैं रेफरेंस ये भी दे दूंगा This is equation seven. Now we are going to integrate by parts. Integrate equation seven by parts. अब मुझे इन चीजों की जरूरत नहीं रही. Integrate equation seven by parts d i over d alpha. Alpha is equal to zero. is equal to y dash 1 plus y dash square square root eta x x1 to x2 minus x1 to x2 eta x d by dx of y dash y dash over 1 plus y dash square square root dx is equal to zero. आसान है अच्छा मुश्किल चीज नहीं है देखो टाइम खत्म हो गया अच्छा जी मैंने कहा सेवन को अब क्या करें आप u इंटू वी से इसको क्या करेंगे ये आपका v है और ये v है कैसे करते हैं u इंटू वी इंटीग्रल को u इंटू इंटीग्रल ऑफ v माइनस डी डी एक्स ऑफ यू इंटू इंटीग्रल ऑफ v तो ये v लिया है मैंने क्या चीज v ली है और ये u लिया है ठीक है एंड व्हाट आई हैव डन u एज इट इज ये सारा यू है अच्छा ये इसके साथ इन टू इंटीग्रल ऑफ दिस क्योंकि ये डेरीवेटिव है तो इंटीग्रल डेरीवेटिव क्या हो जाएंगे खत्म हो जाएंगे तो ई टैक्स रह जाएगा राइट माइनस इंटीग्रल फिर वही खत्म हो गया डेरीवेटिव ऑफ यू विच इज डी बाई डी एक्स ऑफ वाई डैश और वन प्लस दिस ठीक है ये क्लियर है ये नहीं कोई प्रॉब्लम है इसमें अच्छा चले इट इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड द लास्ट इक्वेशन गिव्स एंड देयर फॉर द लास्ट इक्वेशन गिव्स डी बाई डी एक्स वाई डैश ओवर वन प्लस वाई डैश स्केयर स्केयर रूट इज इक्वल टू जीरो दिस इज एट और फिर उसके बाद y डैश ओवर वन प्लस वाई डैश स्केयर स्केयर रूट इज इक्वल टू कॉन्स्टेंट अच्छा जी पहली बात तो ये है कि वेन आई कंसिडर ईटा ईटा मैंने कहाँ कंसिडर किया था कि हाँ कि लेट ईटा एक्स बी ए फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स विच इज जीरो एट एक्स वन एंड एक्स टू सो वेन यू विल सब्सिट्यूट दिस वैल्यू हीयर एंड दैट वैल्यू देयर फॉर ईटा दैट विल टेक इट टू दी जीरो ये इसको पहला पोर्शन को ये क्या कर देगा ये उसको जीरो कर देगा पहले पोर्शन को 
जीरो कर देगा फिर दूसरे पोर्शन को आपने इंटीग्रेट किया इसी तरह तो देखें ये चीज़ रह जाएगी ये इस पर लिमिट पुट कर देंगे ये ज़ीरो हो जाएगी ये चीज़ रह जाएगी दैट इज इक्वल टू ज़ीरो और जब ये ज़ीरो हो जाए 